Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a long time since I made a video, uh, a gaming video specifically. I've been taking on a lot of new adventures in my life. It's been awesome, but I always miss doing this thing. Uh, so yes, we are long overdue for a gaming video. Um, I wouldn't say I'd, I'll be returning as often as I was, like once a week. Uh, but who knows what the future holds and as of right now four or five month hiatuses are unacceptable so I'm gonna be returning a lot more often than that uh, but yeah let's get right into it today it's it's been too long I need to produce some gaming content for you guys so it is now summertime uh, it's been since like March since I last uploaded I think something like that March or April uh, so since it's summertime now, uh, I figured let's talk about some summer-themed video games. Uh, this was actually harder to make a list for than I thought. Making a winter-themed uh, game list or whatever would have been a lot easier. I feel like there's so many winter-themed games uh, as opposed to summer-themed games. And maybe I'm wrong on that, but I just I really couldn't find a whole lot that I could think of that would be great for this video. So I came up with five, a list of five games, and it's no particular order, it's not ranked or anything like that, but just five games that are summer themed that are perfect to be playing this time of year, uh, or actually even in the winter time it would be nice to play them because it gives you that feeling of summer again when you miss it the most. So, I don't know, take it for whatever, I don't care if you want to play them now, play them in the winter. These are just summer themed video games that I think are really good that you should check out. So let's get right into it. This is uh, number one, I feel like is uh, a very obvious one. This one should definitely be on anybody's summer themed video game list. Uh, it's a no brainer. Obviously, Super Mario Sunshine, it had to be on the list. So Super Mario Sunshine is a lot different than Mario games that we've seen prior to this one. Uh, I will admit it's not my favorite of the 3D Mario games. In fact, it's one of my least favorite, um, only because I played it the least amount. I think I played Galaxy a lot more than this one. Uh, 64 is my all-time favorite when it comes to the 3D Mario games. Uh, but it, it's still not a bad game. It's great. Uh, but the story is a little wacky. Mario uh, goes on this vacation and gets framed for uh, destroying the town with this ooze stuff that looks literally like shit. It's poop, basically. We're, we're going to call it poop. Uh, so he goes to court and they find him guilty and he's got to go and clean up the town. It's just, it's, it's a little weird. Then you find out that he's got this doppelganger who's going around and, uh, really causing all this destruction. So yeah, it's a really weird game, but, uh, considering we're talking about summer games, uh, this one definitely delivers as far as that goes. It's very summer themed it's on a tropical island sort of you're in this uh, city that takes place uh, around the ocean you go around uh, with this sort of like a hybrid of a hovercraft slash water gun thing like you uh, you fill it up with water and you squirt the poop with it to clean it up and uh, you go into the levels and it's sort of got the Mario 64 traditional uh, style of gameplay where you go into a level you get you do a specific goal to get a star and then the level ends you go back in and do more goals to get more stars it's definitely a great standalone Mario game uh, but held up compared to some of the other 3d Mario games uh, for me personally it's just not one of my favorites but I could see why it might be yours and it's perfect for this list today so all right, number two, let's go way back to the past because that's what I like to do here on the channel, as you know. Uh, we're going to go with an NES game, and I feel like there were a couple uh, on the NES that could have been chosen, but I think this game is 
probably the best representation of a summer game. Um, at least in my opinion. This is Star Tropics. I love this game. I think it's sort of an underrated title because it's sort of got that Zelda feel to it, but it's also sort of a mix of that and like, I don't know, Adventures of Lolo maybe? Because it's got like puzzle solving and stuff like that, but it's an adventure game. So yeah, I don't know. It's a, it's a very unique game, uh, but obviously that draws inspiration from The Legend of Zelda. Star Tropics is great for this list because uh, it specifically takes place during the summertime uh, and you go around on these tropical islands and uh, usually fight a big boss at the end. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's definitely summer themed and like I said, there was a couple others on the NES I probably could have chosen like California games or something like that. But come on, Star Tropics is way better. All right, number three, now let's go forward and do a newer game. This one I feel like had to be on the list as well. Uh, this is Animal Crossing New Horizons. So this is the newest Animal Crossing game. And I, I guess you could argue it's, it it's definitely summer themed, but it's summer right now, so maybe that's why. Uh, because it's a very unique game as far as where it takes place and the weather stuff like that because it it's in real time so if it's winter where you're at it's winter in the game uh, because it's all hooked up to the internet of course um, which is a really cool idea that they were able to do that in this game I like how they added that realism to it uh, so yes, you could even say maybe it's a winter game if it's winter time, but really I think that it was advertised more with a summer theme to it. Even the front cover looks like it's a summer game. Uh, and that's when it's best enjoyed, I feel like, is, uh, playing it during the summertime. Going fishing and doing all this stuff on your island because it does take place on a deserted island as well. So I feel like that right there gives it a point towards being a summer themed game. I think that it's a great game, uh, but I, I kind of slept on it for a long time. So I'm not the biggest Animal Crossing fan, but it definitely deserves a spot on this list. And I think it's worth checking out for you guys. All right, number four. Now this is one that you might not have expected to be on the list. This is a PlayStation 2 game called Sims 2 Castaway. I absolutely, and it's kind of a guilty pleasure of mine, but I absolutely love the Sims series. Uh, I love all the Sims games from Sim City all the way up to the PlayStation 2 games of The Sims, where you actually control, rather than playing God and taking control of an entire city, uh, you're controlling specific characters instead. Um, I thought that, especially the Game Boy Advance games, Sim, Sims busting out on the Game Boy Advance, one of the greatest games of all time. You guys should definitely check that out if you've never played it. But Sims 2 Castaway is a great summer game, I feel like, because, I mean, what says summer better than uh, being stranded on a des deserted island? Being a castaway, that's definitely summer themed right there. You're on this tropical island, and this is actually one of my favorite Sims games too because it's so different than the others. You go around doing literally anything that you could think of uh, if you were stranded on a deserted island. From making fires, fishing, uh, you build a raft to go discover other islands that are nearby, making friends with the chimps that, are, uh, that live on the <laughs> islands and finding all sorts of food that you can harvest to uh, create these concoctions to make stuff or just to, to eat. You start off with literally just like a sleeping mat, uh, a roll of toilet paper, and uh, that's, that's pretty much it right there. And then you just go around looking for driftwood uh, from the shipwreck and uh, you just start building stuff. Uh, so there's a lot of cool goals in the game uh, that you have a lot of cool skills that you can learn from building stuff learning how to harvest things it's great i highly recommend this game 
Sims 2 Castaway. All right, so we are down to the last one on my list for today. Uh, number five, it's actually a bonus if you stayed this long in the video. It's actually two games in one. So really it's six games in total, but uh, I'm just counting this as one because it's in the same series. Uh, it's Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort for the Wii. Um, now, specifically, Wii Sports Resort is definitely a summer-themed game. Maybe not so much Wii Sports uh, on its own, uh, but it, it does have golf and tennis, uh, you know, sports that you would normally play during the summertime. Uh, so I just decided to throw Wii Sports in there as well because I absolutely love Wii Sports. Now, the new Nintendo Switch Sports, I've played a little bit of. I actually have it, but it's just not the same. There's something about the simplicity of Wii Sports that just just worked so well. Um, it made these games so much fun. I feel like with Switch Sports, they were just trying too hard to replicate Wii Sports. So I don't know, it just, it didn't feel the same. Uh, but Wii Sports Resort is the one that I'm gonna be talking about the most for this one. Uh, because yes, this is absolutely a summer game. I feel like this game right here, if it's winter time, in the middle of winter, there's snow on the ground and maybe you're kind of depressed because you miss the summertime or whatever, pop this game into your Wii and play some Wii Sports Resort. It'll get you uh, feeling like it's summer again. Uh, or maybe it'll make it worse because it'll make you miss summer even more. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, it's got so many great sports on here from kayaking, uh, jet skiing, archery, uh, tons of, a, a lot of water games, which is why I feel like it's great for this list. Uh, but yeah, the Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort games, super simple, but super addictive, a lot of fun. I feel like if there is a sports game specifically that deserves on this list, it's absolutely Wii Sports Resort. So yeah, had to have it on the list. All right, and that's my list for my top five or six, if you wanna say, uh, summer themed video games. Um, so leave in the comments below what you thought of this video or other summer themed games that I didn't think of. Leave them in the comments and let me know which ones you would have put on your top five summer themed video game list.